Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to episode 5 of our group Iron Man on Mage PS. But real quick before the video, I have one massive giveaway, just like always. So the first comment on the video is actually won themselves two magical boxes today. These are worth $10 each, and if you guys like a better chance of winning the first combat prize on every video, be sure to turn on post notifications by hitting the bell down below. And then moving on, once again I've got another 15 magical boxes on Mage PS. Five of these are going to three lucky commenters down below. Once again, this giveaway is over $100, so be sure to enter. And just like always, all you have to do is like the video, comment your in-game name down below, subscribe to my channel, and make sure to turn on post notifications because on every video, the first commenter gets a prize. And be sure to join my Discord using the link down below as that is where I post every video's giveaway winners. I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get into it. I guess what I'm going to go do next is start off the Scyther Zone. Let's see how long this one takes to do. These things look fucking clean, dude. I have to collect 1.5 Trill, kill 250 of them, and get the full Nightmare set. Wish me luck. Literally my first kill, I got the Trimmed Amulet of Fury tier 10. That's actually so good, that's needed to make the Immortal Charm. There we are completing one third of the Scyther Zone. So far we're about halfway on the 250, and uh, quite a ways to go for picking up the 1 bill tokens. Definitely a long grind, but I'm actually not minding this one, especially for the chance that I can get the tier 10 Amulet of Fury. Alright, I just got another Halo Sword. Yo, another tier 10 Amulet of Fury, Pog. Bro, what the fuck? Brandon just got the sponsor chest from the chest rewards. Holy shit, dude. That's actually insane. Nice little uh, $400 donation. Hey, there we go. Completing our sixth zone, the Scyther zone. My fucking inventory is full of shit though. I think the last one for now I'm going to be doing is the evil turnip zone. I'm decently close to completing it, but if you guys remember on last episode, the seventh zone is actually another huge upgrade for my account. Finally did a little bit of organizing. Bro, you collect so much fucking junk on this server, it's actually insane. My junk tab is fucking getting full. Anyways, as you guys can see, I do have a spare arcane blast necklace and a tier 10 fury. And as you can see here, Brandon has a spare rage amulet. So once again, making the second best in slot amulet of the game, the immortal charm. Since I do already have one myself, I'm going to be giving this one to Brandon. So there you go, mate. The best in slot amulet. Two more than our entire group has one. Completing our seventh zone. That just gave us a pet box. Not bad. Let's see what we got. We literally have like nine tormented demon pets on our account. That is so fucking annoying. <laughs> Either way, what I want to do next is actually work on Vegeta's. That is one thing that I really want to get to. So, sadly, I do have to complete one third of the Rage of Virago tasks. That's looking like I either get really lucky with the teddy bear drops, or I kill another about 480. So what I'm going to do for that is jump over to the boss tasks and grab a task of the Rage Virago. If you guys don't know, once I actually kill 500 of these, I get a bounty scroll for Rage Virago, which is a guaranteed rare drop from his drop table. This is going to be an extremely long grind, but hopefully we pop off a few teddies and maybe even a katana. Hey, there we go, like 58 into the grind, we get ourselves the Divine Teddy Bear. Nice little 10 trill to the bank. Yo, I was literally AFKing Virago. I have Rage Legs now, holy shit, that is so insane. I'm literally missing the helm and then I have the full Rage set. It's another like 200 strength bonus for me, not bad. Yo, what do you mean? I literally just finished clipping that. I just got the devious teddy bear, holy fuck. Not bad, I only need one more teddy bear from Virago and then I can actually combine them all and make the upgraded version. Nice, with that kill I've actually reached 500 Virago kills. With that, now I can go to colon colon raged and I don't have to fight the first form. Sadly, we still have like 300 to go. Yo, no fucking way, that was almost back to back. So like three or four kills ago, I just got the frostbite teddy bear. It was a dupe, but then I just got the Shadow Teddy Bear. That is actually the last teddy bear that I need to combine them all and make the upgraded version. I think I'm actually the first out of the group to do this, so... There we go, the Combined Teddy Bear. It's worth 80 trill and it has some really good stats. Not bad, dude. Another unique. Green Death Cape to the bank. There we go. That genuinely felt like it took forever. Brandon actually got off and lent me the scythe for the last, like, 60 or 70 kills, so that sped things up a lot. Not only with that, we get the Bounty Scroll, but I've completed one of three of the Rage Virago. And now I can move over to the Vegeta zone. Not fucking bad. And from the Rage scroll, what did we get? Let's go. Yo, I would die if I got the helm. Come on. Yo. Wait, that's actually so good. I just got a flaming katana from that. Dude, that is pog. Not bad. That is so good. That is my first katana. Hopefully the Vegeta zone is pretty kind to me. But for now, instead of doing that, I would like to start progressing towards like Hades, Blood Cerberus, things like that. 
So for Blood Serb, I need to complete Diablo. For that, scroll all the way back up. I need Krill and Rage Virago. Just completed the first Rage Virago, so for Krill, Tormented Demons, and I have to complete one third of the Tormented Demon Zone, I guess. Get five Deathful Kite Drops, make five Troll Cash, or 500 kills. That's honestly not even that bad. And their HP isn't that bad, and you don't have to use a stupid fucking Rock Hammer. I'm so happy I'm over that. I guess for now we're going to continue the TD grind and occasionally do some Vegetas. 78 kills in, we get the Lime Deathful Kite Shield. 3 mil damage, holy fuck. For a 2 times XP ring. Well, that's unlucky, I just got a Hell Key. Same drop rate as all the shields. If you guys also don't know, the Tormented Demon pet gives you 15% drop rate towards Tormented Demons. Definitely worth grabbing if you're grinding them out. Although sadly, I did just kind of realize... I forgot to grab a boss task of these Tormented Demons, and I'm like 170 in. That definitely would have been smart for me to do, but feels bad, man. Well, there's a tier 11 Berserker Ring drop. Kill count 216. This is actually speeding by so quickly. I am so thankful I don't have to use a stupid hammer anymore. And taking a little break from the Tormented Demons right now. Just a quick little update on the account, though. Currently, I'm sitting at 10,657 NPC kills. I have 12 days, 3 hours, and 40 minutes playtime. And my drop rate is about 170%, depending on if I have the shield or the scythe on. I have about 74,000 strength bonus without double strength. I'm kind of running out of potions, sadly. I would love some more double strengths. We have about 1.5 quad cash. A massive junk tab. Like, this is actually insane. The amount of junk that you accumulate on this server is actually kind of annoying. The only katana that's actually mine or in my name is the flaming katana. The gem, the omega, and the hades scythe are all Brannons. He fucking plays this game so much, but we are looking actually pretty sweet. We are really hoping to actually go for the first place on next month's group Iron Man competition. Let's go add some more wealth to our account. And following every other episode, another $50 donated towards the group. We've actually bought ourselves a chest ticket this time. And of course, the $50 deal getting myself an extra 6,000 points, a few magical boxes, a pet boxes, and from the cash boxes, I literally got shit. I'm now actually above the $250 tier. That is a shit ton more potions for me. Probably bad, I'm more excited about getting double strength potions than I actually am getting the pet boxes. But we have six pet boxes in total. Let's see if we get another unique. Yo, first one, I just got the Orc Legion pet. I literally have no idea what that is. And that's a unique, not bad. Uh, another Vedion pet. Another Trash Corporal Beast. My ex-girlfriend. A Ninja pet, and the last one. Come on, give me a fucking rare. Come on. Aw, oh, dude, I thought I, I thought it was gonna stop with the fucking jack-o'-lantern. Unlucky. Either way, one sec. I'm gonna go see what this Orc Legion pet does. It deals random 1-10% to 10 of my max hit every 3 ticks. That actually might be broken. And 7 magical boxes. Anyways, over to the main event, the chest. On the last chest that I opened, I'm pretty sure I got like five cash boxes. Hopefully on this one, I actually get lucky. There's eight rares that I'd actually like. A couple katanas, a couple scythes, things like that. Alrighty, what do we got? You know what, I'm feeling this black one over here. What do we got? That is not bad. I got 12 magical boxes. That definitely could be a lot worse. But I kind of wanted that scythe. And real quick, we're going to open up the remainder 12 mystery boxes that we have left. Come on, let's see us pop off some rares. A tier 10, and for the last box, what do we got? Come on. Oh, a drop catcher. I kind of have one, but it's still pretty sweet. Divine Donator. Honestly, I am having so much fun on this server. I really mean it when I say Mage is probably the funnest custom server out there right now. Be sure to join using the link down below. Anyways, sadly, like I said earlier, my Iron Man is actually getting extremely late game. A lot of the clips take, a lot of the clips are actually taking an extremely long amount of time for me to grind for. So in that sense, the group Iron Man will be slowing down. I'm still going to be playing that account as much as I can. I'm still absolutely loving it. But sadly, it takes a little bit longer to grind for some things. Anyways, I apologize for the shorter video today, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to join that massive giveaway and to join my Discord using the link down below. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and later! Thank you.